right in. Now we're gonna quickly undo the brake lever. But since this is a little hard, what you wanna do is a lot of people don't know this. There you go guys, I'm gonna quickly start working on removing some of these components on here. So we're gonna start by removing the clutch, lever and perch, the front brake, and then pretty much the, uh, the assemb these assemblies here. Pretty straightforward to do. Keeping everything all together. basically keeping the screws all together so I don't have to search for anything later perfect we're gonna quickly do these two screws to remove this assembly and just keep an eye out on how everything comes out so you have a very good idea if it just like grenades itself but it does not. And then just like that, you're gonna put it back together. Now we're gonna quickly undo the brake lever. And then of course, always do this. Put them back together as you're working so you don't lose anything. Perfect. Getting there, moving along, moving along. So now you're gonna peel this little sleeve off here. Right, just like that. It's gonna give you access to two screws right here. I'd recommend always going slow so you can see, in case if you have to go back, you can see. So, nothing came out, perfect. If you look right on the inside here, you'll see the throttle cable, and it pops out pretty easy. Now to slide this out, you're gonna wanna turn the handlebar to the right. Perfect. Now that's all out. What I do, back up. Just gonna put everything back together so I don't lose any screws. Now we're just gonna do this little holder here, the front plate, holder plate. So we can take out the handlebar. You gotta quickly unfasten the clamps. You have to torque those back down, by the way, so heads up. Just like that, our handlebars are off. Now we have our pro taper bar. We're just gonna undo the bracket here, the brace. Have to do the other side.
now we can kind of unhinge it so we could put the handlebars on now that we got the handlebar on what we're going to do we're going to quickly drop our mounts we're not tightening down anything yet we're just placing them there and then we'll kind of get them to where they need to be what's cool here these do have markings so you can kind of know exactly where you're gonna be here I'm going with plus one perfect marking guys I love the fact that they have the little marks and the little notches you can follow that just to get it nice and perfect you're gonna to wanna to cross tighten stuff. Also, you're gonna to wanna to torque it down. I'll give you the torque spec. Now you're gonna to torque those down to 25 Newton meters. Uh, here we go boys now that we've uh, done that next step you're gonna mark that up okay. now that they're marked I'll know if the bolts are walking over time and I'll go back and make sure that my work is foolproof now we're gonna drop the brace and just put everything back this was Loctite so I am going to put a little Loctite on here before putting it back on There we go. Now we're going to start mounting some of the stuff back up here. We're not going to make it fully tight. What we're going to do is just easily going to place them. Okay, nothing is fully tightened. I'm just placing them. Make sure everything looks good. There we go. I think that's a nice placement. You want to make sure that if you drop the bike, that that's not the first thing that's going to hit so it could break. So I'm going to push it in towards here, which is perfectly nice. Then now we're going to bring a little perch back on. Now that we have the pro taper uh, tube here, I'm going to quickly pull off this piece from the OEM setup, this little uh, white piece of plastic. You're going to anchor it here onto the pro taper tube. Should looks just like that by the time you're done. All right, yeah, slide that in. And make sure you get like a positive snap when it's on correctly. But before we do that, I'm gonna make sure that this throttle snaps in. So we're gonna use some Pro Taper grip glue here. We're gonna put a little bit on the handlebar and some on the actual grip so that way it stays nice and steady. Keep in mind, this takes about 10 to 30 seconds for it to cure, so you gotta be quick.
drop some glue up in here. back on the left hand side of the bike, but I'm gonna show you a very cool trick here. So if you look on the inside of that cluster, there's an indentation and there was a hole drill in the OEM bar to kind of anchor it. So if you put it flush, it's not gonna sit flush. Okay, and you don't wanna shave that down to make it fit, then you kind of ruin this. So the trick here is to get yourself a uh, painter's uh, marker or painter's tape or whichever one you want to use a couple of very interesting tools you're gonna color this right once it's been colored and you know exactly where you want to place this you're gonna align yep now you just marked exactly where it's supposed to go now you can drill the, the hole all right, I got this little tool here, guys. What you're gonna use, you're gonna use this tool to mark where the drill is gonna go so it doesn't slip and slide. Do it a few times. There you go, so now it's marked so your drill won't slide. Here's another very cool tool here, guys. I'm gonna put this tool on, that way the drill do not walk when I'm drilling. Nice and tight. And from there, Go. Right in. You always want to drill a little smaller than you need it to be. In case if you have to enlarge it, you can, but if you make it too large, you're pretty much stuck. The hole is perfectly done. Now you're going to take this little portion here. I should snap right in. screws back in now we're gonna mount our clutch back on the new bar this is going really well guys very uh, excited to share this with you all hopefully you guys can uh, gain something out of this Okay. Now we're just gonna tighten things down. Also, one good tip you wanna do, you wanna make sure this is not past the bar. If you were to dump it, your levers will be nice and safe. At least the bar will hit, the edge will hit. But if you wanted to, you can move them slightly out if you needed to. Uh, for me, I don't think it's a necessity. Here we're gonna swap this out. But since this is a little hard, what you wanna do is, a lot of people don't know this, you wanna preheat this the bottom edge here. Soften the plastic a little bit. Nice and soft. 
Now we're gonna pop this one off. Just to do a quick little recap, we got ourselves a new breather hose right here and uh, pro taper bars, which is a lot nicer for what I'm doing, which is really practice. Pro taper grips, which the other ones are beaten to death. And also I did a new throttle tube, uh, a smoother action one by pro taper as well. Very excited to getting back on the bike and practice. So yeah, we'll keep, uh, keep you posted on this journey. Next up, we'll do a uh, oil change. That way you get the full experience on owning the KLX, wheelie practice and maintenance as well.